I sat under this oak tree five years ago, soon after we launched the Earthshot Prize. The planet, the only home we have, needed our help. The scientists made it clear that we had to make significant changes by 2030. Back then, a decade felt a long time. George was seven, Charlotte five, and Louis two. The thought of them in 2030 felt a lifetime away. But today, as we stand halfway through this critical decade, 2030 feels very real. The Earthshot Prize was founded because this decade matters. 2030 is a threshold by which future generations will judge us. It is the point at which our actions, or lack of them, will have shaped forever the trajectory of our planet. I am deeply proud of what the Earthshot Prize has done in its first five years, and I'm enormously excited for the next five. Not just for the new finalists, well, welcome into our network, but to see the continued impact of our 60 existing finalists. Together, they are moving us towards achieving vital global goals that will improve and secure lives and livelihoods for all of us. Goals such as protecting 30% of our land and sea by 2030. Already, past finalists have protected and restored over 1 million square kilometers of land and ocean. And they have collectively reduced, avoided, or captured over 4.8 million tons of CO2 to fix our climate for future generations. This year's 15 finalists we're about to reveal have solutions to some of the most complex environmental challenges our planet faces. They remind us that ingenuity and leadership know no borders, that bold ideas can come from anywhere and can spark change everywhere. It is impossible to hear these finalist stories, to see the impact they're already having and not feel encouraged by their energy and momentum. For me, it is that urgent optimism that has been at the heart of this prize from the beginning. And it feels unstoppable. The people behind these projects are heroes of our time. So let us back them. Because if we do, we can make the world cleaner, safer, and full of opportunity, not only for future generations, but for the lives we want to lead now. The journey to 2030 is still ours to define, with the vision of these finalists and the support of all of us a flourishing planet is already a reality.